two years ago, exactly right now, I was waking up um, in an ICU to a doctor telling me I was never going to walk again. And then being here, and that sort of set off what I think is conventionally considered a dark night of the soul. And got divorced, and my kids left, and my dad died, and like all these things. And throughout, um, I've been in a space of this knowing that it's not happening to me, but through me, and I'm creating it. And so it's been a good challenge. And um, I know that I'm here to heal. And all of the reflection has been, you can heal yourself, you can heal yourself. And I said, I know, I know, and I'm doing everything that I know how to do. And uh, I'm still, he well, that I think, and I'm still here, right? We're just going to modify a couple of words as we go along here. Yeah. Instead of saying, I'm going to heal myself, it might be more resistance-free and helpful for you to say something more like, I've turned in the direction of well-being, and that's what's calling me. Because when you talk about healing, you're turned in the direction of what you're wanting to overcome. But when you turn in the direction of the well-being that is really more natural and much more dominant, it's a different vibrational approach. Can you feel it? Yeah. In terms of terminology, it sounds like almost the same thing, but it isn't at all. If what you're leaving is dominant, then you don't leave. If where you're going is dominant, then you go. So you just have to ask yourself what the word healing means. Is it leaving something unwanted or is it moving towards something wanted? The word doesn't matter, but how you feel about it does. Mm -hmm. So with that, standing in that space of moving towards something that I want and trusting the process and knowing that it's all in, in divine timing, what can I do to make it go faster? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> we would watch an unrelated movie we would quiet our mind and let our mind wander on the pleasantries that your inner being you see when we is the path to non-resistance so the path of least resistance or the path to non-resistance is a really feel good path feel the difference between overcoming something which is full of grit and determination and the feeling of letting well-being be they're different feelings and so the daydreaming that we're talking about will cause you to release resistance so that the cells of your body who are calling for whatever it is they need are allowed to receive what they need because you're not in the way with your human and therefore bulky and awkward intervention. Is it all right with you if we ask you some questions? Absolutely. Through this process, do you feel more aware of your inner being Absolutely. existence than before yeah and because of your awareness of your inner beings existence are you now more aware of your vibrational relationship with it in other words do your emotions tell you more do your emotions give you more information yes and can you tell the difference between trying and letting most of the time so that's the key can you feel the difference between struggle and ease. Can you feel the difference between, we don't want to get too ridiculous, confusion and clarity, blah, 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 all of that. But if you can feel the difference, and it's not a subtle difference, it's a big difference. So when you say most of the time, we want to argue with that a little bit because we think there's a big difference between trying to make something happen and knowing that it's already happened and just being willing to allow the rest of it to catch up. The cells of your body are remarkable. They have so much capacity that science and medicine does not understand. They are remaking themselves constantly. If you want to know the closest conspiracy that affects you, it's a conspiracy of your cellular being. Your cellular being is responding to your source energy. 
And to the degree that you let that be, that's how you speed it up. We've said things before that are frankly just annoying to our human friends, like enjoy the journey or just be patient and easy about it. That's annoying because when you want something, you want it. But our favorite thing is satisfaction, feeling satisfied where I am and eager for more, satisfied with where I am and eager for more. So one might argue it's not easy to be satisfied when you're standing with not money when you want money or without a partner when you want a partner or without physical capabilities that you want before you have them. We get that. But we want to say emphatically, you can't get there from there. You have to put a bridge for yourself in the process. And that bridge is a ceasing of constant awareness of what is. And not a lot of it. 20 minutes a day of meditation. So we can say things like, don't try so hard, and we do mean that. Or we could say things like, it's going to be all right, and we really do mean that. And we can say things, and we really do mean this, you're doing extremely well. But what you amplify here, and we are so appreciative of it, because everybody's dealing with what you're dealing with to some extent. What is, is keeping what you prefer from coming. Say it better. Your attention to what is, is keeping you from what you prefer. Your attention to what is. Because you've done all the other work. You had the experience, you launched the rockets, you know how to meditate, you know how to tune in. Your guidance system is alive and well within you, you know it. So the answer to your important question, how do I speed this along, is make it not necessary that it hurry along. Let there be so much satisfaction in the moment. It's a little bit like Esther went to what she thinks is the best movie she's ever seen in her whole life, Blinded by the Light. She could hardly stay in her body. It was so good. Happy, 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 happy. Such a good movie. But she had no desire. That movie was so satisfying. She didn't want to go out and see what else was playing. She wanted to watch that movie. She wanted to watch that movie. Last week, she went to another movie. She got up and walked out of it didn't want to watch that movie. She can tell which movies she wants to see. She can tell by how it feels, and you can too. We know you want to talk and we want to hear. No, I'm, 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 I'm just integrating what you're saying. I, I, um, you know, with that, I've been walking that fine line, that balance of uh, everything is perfect and uh, how, how do I change it? And um, a lot of Those two things don't go together, but you could change it this way. What I'm focused upon right now is perfect, and therefore nothing needs to change. The movie I'm watching is so great, I don't need to get up and watch another movie. The movie that's playing is so awesome, I don't need to direct it right now. That's the key. The movie that I have allowed to play because of my alignment with Source is so good, so satisfying, that I don't need to direct a movie right now. Some of your confusion we acknowledge has come from some of what you have thought you heard us say. Because when we ask you to be deliberate, that sounds like you want to direct your thought. We just want you to know when to direct your thought. Make sure you're hooked in and that the plot line's flowing before you add your ideas. Thank you. And, you know, with that, there's that balance of when you, you know, not focusing, maybe so uh, laser focused on the injury or the healing or, or things like that, while at the same time needing to take, well, needing, choosing or guided to it's take right. steps and actions that are in line with the progression of the, that are specifically focused to therapy or whatnot. We talk about getting out ahead of it. And this process of meditation is the supreme way for that. So we've talked about that. We've really talked about that. We know that you'd rather we'd stop talking about that because we've talked about that. Once momentum happens and then it's easier to observe what happened, it's harder than to be out ahead of it. So one might say, well, you can't get out ahead of this because the physical condition is already there. But you can get out ahead of it segment by segment. We call it segment intending. So tell us as briefly as you can what one of those 
segments in time is like where you go for the therapy what's going to happen in that therapy how long is it going to last in a few words as you can what's going to happen absolutely so one of them is for um, an hour and a half i will be harnessed over a treadmill while people move my legs so i get the experience of walking another one is for an hour and a half i just am standing with electrodes plugged into my legs to give stimulus to my muscles let's say that what's lined up for you it's coming right up it's nearly the next segment that's going to happen is you're going to be harnessed over a treadmill and people are going to move your legs to give you the sensation of that movement to let your body and your muscle memory have the experience of that so now you're sitting and you're taking Abraham at their enthusiastic word and you've decided that you're going to with a notebook in front of you just write segment Esther writes segment and then she writes what it is time on the treadmill while I fly from my harness so then you just write what you intend here I feel such appreciation for these people who are playing with me in this way don't you yeah I am thankful and rather amazed at the process that they've come up with I love this help that's gonna happen right now I adore my responsive body I love the cells of my body who are kicking ass today <laughs> Esther has a foul mouth <laughs> she really doesn't we got that from you <sighs> I love my responsive cells I like this experience this is a conspiracy of well-being for me how good is this oh there isn't anything I'd rather be doing in this next segment of my life experience than allowing this evolution of these things that I desire to take place right before my eyes I feel love for these people I feel appreciation for this contraption I feel knowledge and powerful expectation of my responsive cells now don't try to repeat those words those were just words that we flowed into the subject you've got words as lovely and better but let it be what you easily feel so now what happened is you got out ahead of it but more important before you even got there you experienced the pleasure of non-resistant thought you didn't dread going and you didn't practice the movie of disappointment you got out ahead of it so now with your segment intending you have activated the people in the room you've activated your relationship with the cells of your body you've tuned into source energy you've put yourself in a position where all that and as our friend said earlier more can be your experience and here's the most important thing in this segment nowhere did we encourage you to say and I will see the progress of this exercise nowhere because you're not doing this for the power to accomplish the solution to the problem you're doing this segment for the pleasure for the pleasure of this non-resisted segment in time and you're gonna notice everyone's gonna notice that this is going to get kicked into high gear but we don't even want to talk about that because then that puts you in the place of watching for the improvement which introduces resistance that is unnecessary to the equation we would like you to say Abraham that sounded so good I could do that every day for the rest of my life yeah well Abraham that sounded so good I could do that for the rest of my life yeah, huh. yeah. yeah.